Hi, um, I'm Chan Yeol Bak in uh, Urban Policy Division of Night Policy in Korea. So my talk today, my talk is on the construction of aerosol monitoring platform. Uh, we uh, entitled that as uh, ICANN, uh, Asian Initiative of Clean Air Network in Korea. So let me first uh, mention the background and purpose of ICANN. Actually, now is uh, uh, October from uh, Korea and China and this in these East Asia areas. Uh, in 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 every year uh, from October to the next year, uh, April, uh, the air stagnation and the high PM content, PM concentration have been emerged as uh, some uh, uh, very important social problem. So uh, actually, Korean government uh, urged or recommended to in in the uh, in the high con PM concentration period, uh, government uh, urged or recommended to stay at home. Uh, but as you see, this all uh, grandfather and grandmother, uh, they usually they had a uh, take a walk at the urban forest areas. Also, young people uh, want to make a, a time, a good time at the urban forest. Uh, so also some hi uh, hiking riders, they want to uh, play at the uh, urban forest areas. But it is very unclear because uh, the uh, if, if we had a high PM concentration period, government should provide uh, some clear information on the, the what, uh, what, what level of uh, PM of uh, uh, PM concentration in each area. So, but now, uh, until maybe until uh, previous year, uh, Korean government had pronounced uh, all uh, average PM uh, concentration value as the same same value in all of the country or some cities and some regions. Uh, so, we want to uh, set up the, some. Uh, what is the real value of the uh, PM concentration on the canopy of the urban forest areas. Uh, actually, in urban areas, we uh, Korean government already had uh, set up and managing the uh, city uh, PM monitoring networks, but there was no, there had been, there was not that, there was no monitoring networks in Korea. So uh, I, I would like to report the, some, the setup of a clean air uh, ICANN networks. Uh, as you know, uh, the pollutants, what is the source of the pollutants is the many researchers had, had uh, surveyed and reported uh, the traffic industry and urban areas and there were some cultivated areas, uh, trace metals also the source. But what is the sink is the uh, also uh, greening trees at urban area also including the soil and food crops at rural areas and you know, remote uh, mountains, uh, some pollutants can migrate to the long range transports. So the, uh, they can make uh, some cloud interaction and they can uh, deposit the, into the soil or forest area. So this uh, is uh, some negative feedback system. Is uh, some, there's uh, some carrying capacity, but it's a very well known uh, uh, negative feedback system at the atmosphere uh, particular metals. However, in uh, China, in Korea, we uh, in this time, winter and early spring, we had a many uh, event, high concentration PM event, but there was no evidence under the what is the source of the PM from China or the, from foreign areas or the, from domestic part. Is there was no uh, report, but there are many uh, re um, results on the modeling result and aerosol optical depth and uh, uh, secondary organic aerosol like like this so uh, in in the world uh, some greenhouse gases uh, have have been monitored uh, including the carbon hydrogen oxygen and many uh, atmosphere uh, soil pollutant source so like this, we uh, have uh, 
So two years ago, until two years ago, we have uh, some discontinuous monitoring under the what the effects of the green buffer area uh, between the industrial complex and the residential areas like this. So we reported the red result as, as, as this. So the PM10 uh, was shown as a uh, 14 or 0.4 percent was uh, low at the uh, residential areas uh, compared to the industrial comp complex areas like this. Uh, also, we had conducted uh, some modeling uh, data with the uh, aerodynamic optical depths uh, calculated by satellite image and PM data and climate, climate, climate data. We can know the what's the effect of the urban forest to await the PM205. So uh, we conclude that about 50, half a percent, half a percentage of the uh, urban can uh, urban person can lower the uh, particular matter of concentration. Also, some uh, forest areas below shows the below value of the WHO uh, outdoor standard level 20, 20, 25.0 microgram per cubic meters. So uh, from 2019 and 2020, we installed 20, uh, 20 uh, we installed uh, uh, PM monitoring uh, equipment uh, with uh, some green EDM. Uh, SVC equipment, so semi-volatile compounds. So we installed 20 sites, including 60 equipments. So we uh, operating the, this equipment. So one, uh, one equipment produced uh, uh, about uh, six, uh, 600,000 data set in a year and the uh, in interval time is uh, 10 minutes. So PM 10, PM 25, and the PM 1.0 and meteorological factors also we uh, reported in the you know, web page. So yeah, okay. And uh, let me show the some web page. <laughs> let me share the web page. Uh, web page. Uh, Oh, okay. And sorry. <laughs> yes. So actually, uh, we it is um this uh, uh, scientific data network can produce and can uh, provide uh, some good information, some basic information to overcome air pollutants and disease, diseases in urban areas. So uh, this equipment, the characteristics of this equipment is uh, not only they measure the volume concentration and uh, mass concentration. So we can uh, analyze the, uh, what is the source and the emergence and the growth and the deposit of the uh, particular metals. So from 0 0.25 micrometers to uh, uh, 32 micrometers, the, in each uh, particular size class, the mass concentration can be calculated and can be analyzed like this. So this is the, some uh, result. In low concentration periods, uh, PM concentration uh, in 20 sites, 60 locations, uh, data show the data show that the uh, PM10 was a uh, 10 or uh, lower as a uh, 10.8 PM205 as uh, 8.0, and also this equipment can uh, um, measure the BVOC and ABOC, biogenic volatile organic compounds so that uh, from the uh, uh, produced from trees like isoprenes and isoprene and some monoterpene, monoterpenes. And ABOC is anthropogenic volatile organic compounds and benzene, toluene, and like this uh, source from the road and the vehicles. So uh, in our systems, we uh, now we analyze that uh, about 80%, about 80% was composed by ABUS. So the urban process is the main uh, sink source of the pollutants in urban areas. 
So uh, let me show the some uh, brief uh, monitoring result in Busan city. So in one uh, site, we uh, uh, we set up the one is a uh, uh, residential areas like blue colors and green color is a purple green or some uh, blocking forest against the uh, pollutants. Some red sign is a uh, industrial complex areas. So we can uh, we came to know we came to know the we came to uh, get the data on the significant low concentration at the residential areas. So because of now a Korean government have a uh, uh, put and have have uh, put the many budgets uh, to make uh, some urban forest in urban area, but it is very uh, high expensive to get uh, to implement and to buy the lands in urban areas. So to uh, support the decision. This uh, scientific data system uh, would be needed, or this data system can uh, help the decision maker to uh, implement and manage the urban forest, urban forest in uh, in Korea. And let me explain. The next is the the expansion of the PM, uh, PM concentration platform with uh, some carbon dioxide dioxide problem problem. So as you know, carbon neutral, neutrality and the carbon zero program is now a, a, a social issue also in Korea and in East Asia areas. So we oh, now we had uh, some data on the PM205 mortality rate and carbon dioxide, but uh, there are some uh, animals re, uh, reported. Uh, there is uh, some uh, small, small report, weekly positive correlation between the PM concentration and carbon dioxide. So, uh, so but we we have a platform. So also we. Um, input the new equipment for measuring the carbon dioxide concentration. So we can came to know the what, what is the factor of the PM concentration and the carbon dioxide in urban areas. Uh, next, let me uh, uh, some uh, comment on the multifunctionality of urban forest in Korea. So I'd like to say it's a screw. So one is a science-based, and next is uh, uh, wisdom based and customized based is very important because the many people so now is a uh, uh, millennium and jets and MJ generation, as you know, uh, many young people like to uh, go to the first urban place there, but they they want to have uh, some industry like a tree delivery, tree delivery and some drinking water and the crafts like this, yeah, so. Uh, we now uh, this time we just uh, focused on the pollutants of waste absorption and the carbon sequestration, but there's uh, some multifunctionalities. Urban policy is very important in our country. Uh, it's a very brief explanation. And uh, so maybe 20 years ago, first industry is very important. But now it's a third or sixth industry. It's very important for urban areas. So number of higher visit to urban forest is increased in the era of COVID-19. And also uh, I, um, we, uh, we reported uh, some current uh, ecosystem service of urban forest in COVID-19. So uh, young people uh, to visit or want to prefer to visit the personal space and visit areas. Yeah, and the other, uh, and the other thing is the importance of biodiversity habitats. So, as I, um, there's a small report on the urban ecosystems, and uh, some birds was adapted to the urban areas. So it's a high pitch and variable frequency was uh, reported. Were reported. And also, we uh, sub, we reported uh, some. Uh, High, high PM concentration can affect the low production of honeybee uh, in Be uh, Beijing arboretum areas. We, our research team uh, have had a survey the, the high high back journey time at the high uh, PM concentration. So it increased uh, 1.7 time increased uh, at the high PM concentration. Uh, uh, this, uh, this high PM concentration can 
uh, affects the polarized light direction between sun and flower uh, of uh, honey bee, honey, uh, bee, bee plants. And uh, I'd like to uh, say the importance of the, some um, urban fresh flood in urban areas. Now climate change also the, some gray infrastructure can increase, increase the risk of the uh, fresh flood in urban areas. So the importance of water, uh, retention of the water by urban person is very important. Also, I direct like, uh, uh, many times I mentioned the importance of street trees. So uh, in ASEAN regions, we I think we have uh, some standard stat we can uh, have uh, some standard stat statistics on urban forest, including uh, urban street trees. So it's very difficult to de define the uh, what is the urban forest uh, in each country is in Singapore, China, Korea, and very different. But it's, uh, street tree is very uh, easy. So it is a st some starting point to make a standard statistics on urban forest in Asia. And uh, because the these urban trees is a very uh, good uh, benefit uh, for on, in summer attenuates on air temperature. Actually in Seoul, Korea, we, we use the central uh, bus station. It's a very risky. So 10 minutes or, 10, uh, or five or 10 minutes, some people's wait a bus. It's a very uh, risky environment to pollutants and uh, uh, heat waves. So it's a, uh, my conclusion. We set up network for measuring fine dust uh, at 60 location in 20 places of forest in Korea under uh, canopy areas. And this measurement can produce uh, about 600,000 data set every 10 minutes for aerosol and weather information. And Korea geopolitical characteristics allow monitor and air pollutants uh, in, uh, in Northeast Asia, including China and determine when forest will act as absorption source. So I think that this ICANN can act as a platform for urban planning and forest management policy to maintain clear air in East Asia. Yeah, that is all. Thank you for your, uh, this is some, uh, thank so some discussion much. Thank part. Thank you very much, Mr. Park. Yeah. Uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what we need. We need to have very uh, comprehensive, um, monitoring network so that we can better understand what we have, um, how we can provide uh, 